Since creation, man has attempted to build devices and provide solutions. Many of these messages and facts could be expressed in terms of numbers. But today, there is just too much to learn. Too much for the manual writing of the never-ending numbers. And thus, electronics was called to the rescue. So was born the computer. Way back in about 1300 BC, humans invented the abacus as a tool to do calculations that were too big to do in your head. Fast forward 3,245 years to 1945. The ENIAC was invented, the first electronic general purpose digital computer. 20 years after that, in 1975, IBM unveiled the 5100, one of the first sort of portable computers. Then Apple showed off their version of a computer with a mouse and a graphics interface, and Bill Gates took that photo that he will never live down. The modern day was looking bright. All these machines, for their time, were modern marvels. And we were just beginning to understand the possibility of electronic machines. And then we arrive in the modern day, 75 years after the ENIAC. It's a long time. So what is considered a modern PC in the year 2020? Well, first of all, you better expect it to be fast. Once upon a time, memory used to take up literally an entire room. This was the IBM Ramac 305. It could hold five megabytes of data, costing about $10,000 per megabyte, equivalent to nearly half a million dollars USD today. Now, in the thickness of a screen alone, we're able to house more memory than was even conceivable in the 50s. Solid state and N.2 drives are not only tiny, but fast. Rather than using mechanical arms, plates, and moving parts, SSDs store data in microchips, making the speed in which you can access different sections of data nearly instant. Not only that, but processors and RAM have become far more powerful. With the push of a button, your Windows modern computer will boot in a few seconds. But also, software is faster. Web pages load more quickly. Navigating your files is instant. The computer is now fast enough to keep up with our ideas, rather than having to work to the speed and limitations of the tool. Another great advancement is in the size. Rather than a warehouse full of patching wires, we now have impressively thin and light machines, basically the size of a pad of paper. Rather than traveling to your workstation, your workstation travels with you, having everything you need at less than a couple of kgs. And rather than storage stored on massive physical drives or even DVD discs, we're now constantly connected to the cloud, meaning data loss is also becoming a thing of the past. Even if your machine was to go up in flames, your gigs and gigs of data is safe and waiting for you when you get your machine back. You can also expect it to be secure. Security used to mean, I don't know, a padlock, I guess. Fingerprint and facial scanners used to be things of Hollywood movies. Now we carry these things with us and we can rest easy knowing that we're the only ones to access these personal machines. But also, the operating system itself is far more secure. Security is simplified, built in, comprehensive and most importantly, ongoing when Windows 10 is at the heart of your computer. Keeping your data safe as we digitize more parts of our everyday life. You can also expect it to last. While durability has increased, the amount of bang for your buck these days has also improved greatly. The years of research and development to get the supercomputer into the form factor of a pad of paper will cost a fraction of what it used to, while providing you with massive enhancements to computing power. And a lot of this has to do with less moving parts, meaning less can go wrong, all while components are using less power. And this is why we've had such amazing advancements in battery life. These days, something only a few millimeters thick can give you an average seven plus hours of video playback. In other words, this space is the best investment it's ever been. Everything works together. Being more organized has never been so simple. With Office 365 utilizing the cloud, your Word documents work with your Excel spreadsheets and your PowerPoints and your email, all available to you wherever you are, on whatever device you choose. OneDrive storage keeps all your photos and files, and there's no need to buy expensive external storage that's still subject to external factors. And this is just the beginning. Software has given us quality of life improvements that we couldn't live without. Pen and touch support for quickly annotating and sharing ideas. Navigating between programs is seamless and fast. We can even talk to our machines something we've dreamed about for decades. Windows has been there since the beginning and evolved with us, providing us the ability to have amazing machines. It has pushed innovation in every industry around the globe. It's helped us with medicine, education, sustainability on our planet, and the ability to explore others. And it fits in your bag. Let's just take some time to appreciate these tools and all they allow us to achieve as we look forward to tomorrow. This is a Windows modern PC. So if your computer's heavy and slow and takes ages to boot, or just isn't doing the job anymore, have a look around. You can get really good specs for the price these days. At PB Tech, we have the biggest range of laptops and PCs in New Zealand, and really friendly staff. You can pop in and just have a chat. We'll be able to help you find the machine for you. I'm Eli from PB Tech. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.